Hello everyone. Let's hop right on into the energies and see what the guides, the universe would like for you to be aware of today. What do you need to know? Collective, what do you need to know? Book smart but stupid. First card out. There is someone who might have a lot of influence. They're seen on paper as being very intelligent high credentials, but there's something going on with their common sense. This person is not utilizing their common sense. They could be lacking greatly when it comes to their intuition, how they judge others. They make a lot of mistakes based on emotion. What else? Look smart, but stupid. Do not lend them the money. They have no intention to pay you back. This person could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Leo. Doesn't have to be. There's someone that needs a favor from you. That energy was coming through in the short video that I posted earlier this morning. Do not lend this person any money. This person is very educated. They could even have a good job. They don't manage their money properly. They're looking at you as a uh, meal ticket someone needs a favor they don't know how not to lie gemini leo so we've got leo twice this person could indeed be a leo they are lying they're liars they're proven liars they don't manage their money well they're looking at you they are looking at you. Anything else from this deck, please and thank you. They deeply love you, but they are afraid, and so they stay away and remain unhappy. Capricorn, Leo again. So we've got Leo on the board three times. Very strong Leo energy. They're unhappy in their current situation. They're doing a lot of watching. They could be driving by your home, studying you, trying to figure out a way to get in. I can't stop myself from watching you. This person is watching you. Look smart, but stupid. Expectation gift they expect something they see you as a gift a giver you could be a giver you could have given a lot to this person they think that your heart is still open to them they expect you to open your door they uh thought that their education would secure their finances home they had a lot of expectations when it comes to a job, a career, a relationship. Things aren't working out for this person. Do not lend them the money. You could be receiving a large sum of money, occupation, poverty. This person could have lost their job. They are in dire financial straits involving a home message of concern could have received an eviction notice foreclosure notice something to do with a home you could be a very hard worker this person knows this about you they know that you have stability you could provide them with security they're looking for some security this person this book smart stupid person is feeling very insecure they, their lies have caught up with them. Their lies have caught up with them. Could have lost a job. They don't know how not to lie. Gemini, Leo, air and fire. The lovers just flipped, but it went right back. This could be a past lover. Courtship. Bad health. This person could very well be in bad health. They need someone to take care of them. They're watching you. They need some place to live. They need money. 
message of concern. They've received a message of concern regarding their health. Contract, courtship, contract, dating, lying, weasel. This person is a weasel. They deeply love you. This weasel deeply loves you. They're afraid of you. They stay away, but they watch. Could be very materialistic. Despair, and it's in the reverse. Wealthy man is in the upright, followed by concern. So there's a wealthy man here, concerned about a gift. Toil and labor, working very hard, courthouse. So there's a court situation here. Despair is in reverse. They see you as happy. They miss a lot about you. They miss your cooking. They miss your laughter, your jokes. You could be very witty, sharp. You might not have the same edu ed 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 educational credentials as this person, but you're whip smart. Anything else? I can't stop myself from watching you. Who is this that can't stop themselves from watching you? Message of concern. Whatever they're seeing you do, main male. So this is a main male that's watching you. They're very concerned about perhaps a mature man, another energy coming toward you who is seen publicly in high honor. This could also be spiritual high honor. There's a message here and privileged lady courthouse interesting darlings interesting so we've got a main male here could be a gemini a leo a capricorn a virgo a taurus doesn't have to be but could have these aspects in their charts they see you as a winning ticket someone that can reverse their despair mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's keep going. Expectation. What is this expectation? Exactly. What is this expectation? Number 28. That's a 10. Something's over. They don't want something to be over. Mm. Page of Pentacles. So this person wants to come in with an... Oh, King of Swords at the bottom. This person wants to come in with an offer so that they can convince you some kind of way to lend them something. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, but this small offer, there is an ulterior motive behind this small offer. Okay, this opportunity. They see you as an opportunity to help them increase their finances. Why is occupation here? Wow. This flipped and it landed on despair in reverse. We've got page of cups and the king of swords again in reverse. So this person has some deep seated childhood wounds issues. They're broken, um, could be abusive. They didn't plan well. This education that they have that they paid a lot of money for isn't panning out for them for them they didn't plan well for their future they could have lost their job um, they're selfish they're ruthless premeditated this is a very premeditated offer they've done a lot of thinking about it they think they believe that they can convince you of something that's going to open your heart up to them why is courtship here Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we've got this Earth energy again with this Taurus and this Leo. No, wait, that's Leo's fire, Taurus. What the hell is Pentacles? Capricorn. We've got Capricorn out already. Courtship. Seven of Cups, so they want to confuse you. Eight of Swords, mind games. They want to come back in and play those same old, same old mind games that didn't work before. 
They've got a new strategy. This person has a new strategy. They're already in a relationship. They're looking at other options, other, uh, they're trying to find a sucker. They're looking for some sort of source. They're an energy vampire, this person, delusional. Could be a heavy drinker. Why is despair here? They know you have choices when it comes to uh, dating. Despair in reverse. Oh, come on, my hands. This person could be having trouble, trouble with their hands, mobility issues. What the hell? Uh, despair. Ah, uh, look at that. Three of Swords, and it came out kind of this way, landed on top of this King of Swords that's in the reverse, and then we've got Nine of Cups. So you're indeed this person's wish, and they don't, they want to release their pain, release their despair. They deeply love you. They do deeply love you. That's, 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 that's true, but just because somebody loves you doesn't mean they're going to do right by you. And this person right here, this main male, a little shady, little shady boots, shady boots. Why is main male here? And this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a brother. This could be an uncle. This could be a business partner. You know what I'm saying? This could be a whole lot of different scenarios going on here but it does feel like a past person with this three of swords and this despair here occupation i can't stop myself from watching you eight of pentacles is clarifying this main male and then we've got eight of cups so they moved away Ooh, then we got the empress moving toward Ooh, then we got death behind empress and four of cups so they are definitely in a relationship, this person. They're very unhappy. They uh, might have, they might be relying on someone at this moment to take care of them financially and physically. And so they're watching you obsessing over not being able to access you. They're kind of scared of you. They think that if they do come toward you, you might be insanely mean to them. Um, they know that you can see through those crocodile tears. They're working on moving away from their current situation, but they just don't have anywhere else to go. So they stay. They stay miserable and they stay watching you. Message of concern. And they know you're a hard worker. They know that you're working on something. You're a master. You're an expert at whatever it is that you do. You're a master of your energy. Hmm. Huh. They could be wearing a hoodie walking by your house, pretending like they're playing on their phone. That's what I'm looking at right now. Interesting. Message of concern. This is on top of this King of Swords in the reverse with Occupation, Page of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Wands. It's in the upright, Message of Concern, Star. Okay, so now we've got Main Male here and we've got this Queen of Wands here, Message of Concern. This Queen of Wands does indeed feel like a karmic feminine energy. I'm telling y'all, if you get a chance, watch the short that I posted this morning because... This feminine is trying to doppelgang the star energy here, which is you, collective. Emperor, three of cups. So this is a sticky situation. You've got a couple of, you've got this main male with this karmic feminine energy that could be a Gemini, a Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn. What They're both watching you. They're both stupid. They want what you have, but that's just not possible. Their bodies cannot hold the light that is within you. They're too broken down. Message of concern. Queen of Wands. 
Hangman is at the bottom, Enlightenment. This Queen of Wands is very much aware that this main male is infatuated with you. This is upsetting this person tremendously. They're off balance. Huh. Seven of Swords now is at the bottom. So let's see what else. What else? Let's get some. Uh, let's get some archetype Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Oh, look at that. We've got artist and martyr. This person could be an artist or you could be an artist and this person is mimicking your art. Addiction is self-pity is the shadow for martyr. Child wounded. So both of these energies could be very wounded. They're wounding each other. They could be older and simply have not done the work that they need to mature mentally. These people could be both very spiritually and mentally immature. Why is... And see, here's the other thing. With this deck, Martyr, there's an angel card that has the same color. I feel like that is you, the angel card. And this person who is trying to doppelgang, copy off of you, they're watching you mimicking your art, whatever it is that you're doing work-wise, career-wise, they are trying to mimic and gain whatever accolades you are currently receiving for, for your creativity and your brilliance. So why is main male in here with this eight of pentacles? Oh, what do we have? Oh, look at, oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> vampire no 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 <laughs> in the exorcist and then we have rescuer i'm telling you i swear i don't need these damn cards y'all but here we are child divine you're this child divine this main male needs you to rescue him her Take it, flip it, however it might fit for you, if at all. Hopefully it doesn't fit because this is nonsense right here. But we've got energy vampires that need an exorcism. They need to be rescued from themselves. But we all know that, you know, you can't rescue anyone from themselves, right? Especially if they are tricky and they're not willing to do the necessary work. Put those, strap those boots up, you know. Wow. Wow, child divine, innocent purity, redemption, special connection with the divine. This is you collective. You cherish your connection with the divine. You are grateful every single day. You breathe gratitude. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know if I want to keep going with this. this is bananas, bananas. Why is occupation here? Whoa, king, and it's in the reverse, shadow, excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. So this person, most certainly, this king here in the reverse, and we already have king of swords in the reverse. So we are really getting some uh, synchronicities here. Like there's no doubt what's going on with this reading. It's... uh. It's a pity party. God, it's a pity party. And eyes are on you. Wow. This person feels very entitled to you, to what you have. Mm, this is wild gambler. So there could be some gambling going on. Let's see what's going on with this mature man right here. Mature man, number five, emperor energy. Oh, okay, so now we've got mother and monk nun. It just kind of flipped out sideways. 
So patience, unconditional love, self, selfless devotion, and single-minded dedication to spirit. Someone sees you as that you could be a mother. Um, they, they do have, I don't know, this is weird. Okay, so hold on. Let me start again. Let's get some more cards here. Mother, monk, nun is clarifying this mature man. So is this mature man looking at this mother? Empress energy. Hmm. Mother. Who is this mother to this mature man? You are loved and protected by forces unseen, constant galactic surveillance. So this could be an ancestor with this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with this high honor and then message. Oh, so your ancestor is stepping in to remind you of who you are and the protection that you have against these wonky ass energies that cannot stop dipping and dabbing into your energetic field. But they are being stopped because you are constantly being watched. And see, here's the thing. I was thinking about this this morning. <laughs> it came through so clear. If these folks are dealing with some old nasty ass kitchen black magic perhaps because they feel like they have those roots maybe their grandparent or grandmama was a whatever priestess type voodoo type of energy you know new orleans just popped in my head you can't Tinker with a galactic energy, a star energy, a cosmic energy. It's just that energy trumps any sort of wonky, earthly, mangy, negative practice. It just does. It's 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 there's no comparison. It's just like it's like a pit bull and a chihuahua fighting. <laughs> it's like you, you're not gonna you can't win. It's ridiculous. So, <laughs> oh my God, I don't want to start snorting. I'll just end it here. Energy can only be transmuted if you are in control of yourself. And darlings, you are in control of yourself, of your situations. You have come to the edge and jumped a million times in your life. And you, you sail every single time. You are sailing at the moment. So, that's what I have, and I will see you guys soon in another video. <laughs>